Goons, what is up? It's Help August for Game Goons TV, and I am back with another episode of East 8 Lacrimosa of Data. On the last episode, we got shipwrecked, we got a peep at Loxia's better assets, and we learned a couple new skills. Now we're going to venture into this cave over here because Loxy apparently saw someone going into it. Personally, I don't think we should be bothering with that. We don't know these people on this island. There's no reason for us to be gallivanting around, about rather, in unknown caves and what. Uh, this is going to be our first dungeon. It's fairly easy. It's pretty much more tutorial mode shit. I didn't get too far in this game beforehand, um, so I remember this spot. Oh, but... After this, things get a little hazy for me. What, you scared? Of course not. Who do you think you're talking to? Let's just hurry up and keep moving. Sure thing, baby. Oops. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little freaked out. That's all right, babe. I got you. Adol's here. I'm not gonna let you fly off a cliff or anything. This place looks like it used to be lived in. Or has been lived in. You think someone could still be living here? I doubt it. I agree. The hovel seems too dilapidated for anyone to be living here. I wonder how long it's been abandoned. Hey, if you've lived in San Francisco as long as I have, you'll live anywhere. Perhaps this there is a clue here waiting to be uncovered. A clue as to what? Let's look around, Mr. Kristen. I thought we were looking around for someone you saw coming in here. All right, so now we're going to look in some random boxes. There we go. Is there anything inside? Hopefully whiskey. The barrels are empty. I feel you on that, Laksha. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. Neither should have I, I guess. Neither should I, I guess, you know? Oh, heal potion. Sweet. This seems rather old, but maybe we can still use it? Yeah, I took out the uh, the shortcuts to that because they were glitching out on me earlier. Um, so we're going to do the uh, the long way, you know, the, the pause. Leather armor times two. These seem quite old, and Adol decided to equip the armor anyway. Shut up, Loxia. Just put on the damn leather armor. Oh, a colt was here. Sweet. You notice a faint, embla faint image emblazoned on this curtain. Look at that. It's a bit faded, but it appears to be an insignia of some sort. Unfortunately, the insignia is too faded to discern properly. Not that we could anyway, because why would you recognize it? Old jars and bottles are scattered about. They're caked in dirt and grime. This place has been abandoned for a long time. Still, it's obvious that someone must have lived here previously. Nothing here stands out as a likely clue. It feels like apartment hunting in California, you know? Hey, this seems rather old, but it might prove useful. Mr. Kristen, why not use this sword in place of the old rusted one? Discarded it? There doesn't appear to be anything else of use here. We still haven't found that person I saw outside, so we should just move on. I agree. Mr. Kristen, a moment, a moment of your time, please. I mean, you had all time, all day, to just talking about stuff. I noticed something during our previous encounters. Oh, this is where she's going to tell us about aerial combos, giving us more experience versus finishing with a skill, uh, replenishing SP. It seems beneficial to be proactive. 
in the use of aerial attacks and skills. How does that sound to you? Sage advice if I do say so myself. I'll give it a try. Good, if you need that advice, if you need that advice, future battles should end in our favor. And one more thing. Should be meter positive, I guess. Breaking objects gives us SP and finds items. Got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. This is useful knowledge, you know. You are so condescending. I kind of like that, though. Anything? No, I did not. Oh, did the counter too early. Oh, easy. We kill everything? Yeah, we killed everything. Coconuts. So I guess the uh, the jump slash lifts up so I can actually perform air combos. And then there's these guys that are already in the air. So they're free extra XP. And I think that's everything we are currently interested in. Hey guys, y'all want to see a dead body? Oh. Who do you suppose that is? What? Who on earth is this? The decayed corpse rests against a boulder. Based on its tattered attire, I'd all suspect that it must be the remains of a pirate. Whoever this person was, they must have died many years ago. But why were they here to begin with? I mean, why are we here to begin with, lady? Come on. Because they fucked up. Damn, she leveled up again. Those air combos really do the damn trick. All right, I think this is a boss fight coming up. And hey, I recognize that dude's butt. And he must work out. Hey, Lakshya, heads up. How do you not notice that shit? B Biffed Ariza? Biffed Ariza? I don't know. Whatever, man. It's a big ass bat bull. I'm gonna do all the work. Shut up. You can now use your extra skill. The extra skill gauge will fill when you land a skill. When the gauge is full, hold R1 and press L1 to unleash a tremendous powerful attack. Don't do it in the opposite direction. It doesn't work. I tried it previously in the stream. Uh, yeah, I was disappointed. Whoops. Mess it up. What you doing? Where are you going? Why are you running? There it is. Fucking Daigo, baby. Give me that shit. Yo, that did hella damage. That's sick. Oh, and just like that, I dropped my counter. There it is. Get fucked, baby. Victory is ours, Mr. Kristen. <laughs> That's right, girl. Uh, now then, we must <laughs> resume our pursuit to follow that man. Would it kill you to show some emotion, Loxia? Perhaps he will lead us to a settlement. Uh, 
It's just a nice ass view of the ocean. We already had that. <laughs> Could have stayed in the damn village. I'm gonna be a fucking dick. <laughs> There's no settlement here if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> This dude's like hella swole, right? Like, it's like a swole ass boat captain, and we can't even use him. Like, not as a party member. I don't introduce last year to Captain Barbaros, then explain that what had, what had happened was thus far. Afterward, Captain Barbaros explained how the Lombardo yacht sank. Because she didn't believe us in the last episode. She was like, you expect me to believe that shit. And so we told her, and now she's got corroborating evidence or a corroborating story. And that's all I know about how this Lombardia sank. She has to believe it. So everything Mr. Kristen said was true. Thank you. Vindication. My actions have been placed, have placed my passengers in harm's way. I am to blame for all of this. You couldn't have known this would happen. So please don't blame yourself. I understand that you execute your duties as captain with the utmost certain sincerity. You have my deepest apologies. Still, it's difficult for me to accept everything about your explanation. I mean, fine. Do you at least have any idea about where we are now? From the looks of things, we seem to have washed ashore on an island. Judging from our position when the ship sank and the direction of the current at the time, we must be on a deserted island. The Isle of Saren, to be precise. A deserted island? I've never even heard of this island of Ser Isle of Saren, excuse me. I had all proceeded to tell, tell, actually, about the legend of the Isle of Saren. A cursed island. Could such a place truly exist? I mean, we kind of just fought a big-ass bat-bear thing. Yeah, how do you... No one sets foot on this cursed island. I never thought I'd end up here. You want to see a dead body? Hmm, it certainly looked like a pirate's corpse. But the person may have washed ashore on the island. Same as us. Is that the fate of all castaways who find themselves here? No, I'm sorry to cause worry. I'm not worried. Adol's not worried. That ain't, he's like, that ain't gonna be me. I'm about to climb that mountain. As long as I'm alive, I will continue to blah, blah, blah. Like Glacia, there may be other passengers on this island. In any event, we need to understand our situation without a moment's delay. Every survival will need to work as hard, work hard to ensure we all get off this island alive. Yes, I her certainly hope so. Now then, there's no use in standing around here. Let's be off. Alright, so now we're gonna head back to the uh, the village, as it were. I don't know the other traced her steps and made her way back to the inlet. The inlet, excuse me, which will become the village, and he's gonna explain that right now. So, what do you intend to do now? Yes, about that. Since you're an adventurer, Adol, I was hoping I could enlist your help. Adventurer? Why would he call you that? I told you that already. First, I would like to find the other surviving passengers, like Lakia. Lakia, Lakia, Lakia. It's more than likely that the other passengers have drifted ashore onto this island. Some may even be women and children. We must act fast. That's worrisome. Indeed. And this island is crawling with beasts, too. There's something else I need you to do while you search for the other survivors. I need you to draft a detailed map of the Isle of Saren. I am your man for that. I am an experienced cartographer. I don't never, pr I never pronounced that correctly. I might have gotten it right this time. Is that so? How fortuitous. No ships sail through this area, which means rescue may never come for us. So it falls on us to plan our escape, as we're likely to be, we're likely to be on this island for the foreseeable future. Hey, it's like that Harrison Ford movie. 
For the reason, for that reason, we must learn all we can about this island for everyone's benefit. Wakarimasu! With a, with a map of the island, it will be easier for you to search for survivors. I mean, if we... Yeah, I guess. Do you think you can help me with that, Albo? Albo. At all. Ayaisa. Mm-hmm. That's encouraging to hear. I need you to continue exploring the coast, but I'm considering building our base here. We'll need a base camp if we're going to be stuck on this island for a while. Um... Captain Barbaros? What about me? What about you? It would be safer if you remain here, Laxia. I kind of like her range, so I kind of want her with us. In times as desperate as this, are you suggesting that I sit idle and do nothing? I appreciate your concern, but it would bring great dishonor to the House of Roswell if I remained here. I will accompany this adventurer. <laughs> Adel's like, you always talking shit. What the fuck? Besides, a servant of mine accompanied me on this voyage, and is still missing. Is she talking about Hein from KO 14? I cannot allow someone to search for him on my behalf, and I am capable of doing when well, I am capable of doing so myself. Hmm, I understand. Very well, I will respect your wishes. Still, we do not know what dangers await us on this island. Do be careful. Thank you. We'll be off now. I just started leaning into this voice for the captain without even knowing it. えっと。アドルクリスティ。私の質問に答えなさい。あなたは一体何者なのですか剣の腕が立つことは認めましょう。でも、冒険家とは何ですかそんなふざけた肩書きは初めて聞きます。冒険なんてものは、所詮は道
Oh, man. Startled me. Oh, I got a new skill, right? Totally spaced on that. There we go. Iron ore. Oh, what happened? Man, Loxia, you are messing up my timing. You need to chill with that. See what's over here first. Oh my! Ooh. I feel like that would get a little. I would get a little sidetracked by that. And I can't climb up that, but that looks like I'm supposed to be. I should be able to get up there later on. Cannot get in there yet. But I can get two mangoes. Oh, wait. I'm tripping. Sorry about that. There's definitely something here I should be swinging at. But it's up there. That's what it is. Okay. Never mind. I was right the first time. My bad, guys. All right. All right, we're out of here. We're going to figure out what's coming up next. Nah, we ain't messing with you. We're about to hit up the, uh, I think we're at the beach. Yeah, we at the beach. Oh, that's a big boy. The beast in this area look especially dangerous. We must be on our guard, Mr. Kristen. Sage nod. Advanced tactics. Yeah, we already know about that. And the dashing and the, the other stuff. We good. Oh. What's his attack? Oh, it's just a bite? Okay, that's cool. Come on, do it. Look at it. Look at her. Come on, bite me, bite me, bite. Come on. Yeah! I love doing that. Sorry. Not really, though. All right, we're going to find somebody. Sweet. Found some wheat in the ocean. Seems safe to eat. Where's that big old starfish at? There he is. Oh, we ain't doing nothing. Oh, God. All right. Let's time that shit. Getting blown up by this guy. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that was worth it. Thank God for that. 
That's a pretty good place to grind, honestly. Another cool thing about this game is that you can climb trees and get like, you know, some you know, some coconuts. It's a little haphazard though. Large pile of boulders obstructs your path. Shore appears to continue on to the other side, but we can't pass through here. More footprints? Hey! I think we're gonna find somebody. Fresh footprints. Footprints! Footprints trail off into the distance. These footprints might belong to a passenger of the Lombardia. We must follow them at once. So bossy. Not that I'm complaining. Kinda dig that. Alright. I feel like this is definitely a yeah, this is a boss fight coming up. So we're gonna save. Uh which one was longer? That one's longer. So let's Alright. I think this is a boss fight. Something nearby is making noise. Uh? Oh, shit, it's like Jurassic Park. Obviously, nothing small. Keep your mouth shut. Oh, hey. Oh, that's, uh, that's Mr. P-Pants. Couldn't find a place to pi piss off on the, uh, on the boat. Hey, that's a big lizard. All right, if I remember correctly, the head is vulnerable. Avalodragul. Hey, man, we don't want no smoke. We don't even know this guy. Creature seems different from any other beast or monster that adults have fought before, except for, you know, like the dragons in seven. Is that before or after eight? Canonically, or timeline wise? I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, I'm right. Come on, what's gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna get hit, obviously. There it is. I was wondering gonna show me that. What? Where is my counter? Whoa! I just use you. What the hell? All right, that's my fault. Definitely didn't pay attention. There it is. Oh, she's getting angry. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. I ain't falling for that shit. Oh, whoa. I've never seen her do that. All right, I might die. It's all on you, Laxia. I'm definitely sucking it up right now.
I wish I hadn't wasted that extra skill. Here comes the fireballs. Yep, here it comes. Spin it. I'm actually depending on Laxia. Oh, shit! Come on. Oh, where's the... That's lag. Lag again. Screw it, I'm using it. I suck. I'm using it. You gonna fireball me again? Yeah! Big finish! That was pretty sick. Getting carried by Loxia. A couple of those attacks really messed me up, I swear to God. Either my timing was off, or the hitboxes were changing, man. Couldn't have been my fault. I'm good at this game. Not, not really, honestly. I'm so rusty. It'll come back to me. I swear. It better. Sheesh. Whoa, gave him the double slap? He's like, whatever. I live for that shit, man. Hit me harder. Man, that thing ain't dead. Y'all better be moving. Yo, somebody hit the boy up with head and shoulders. Holy shit. Dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> の名前はサハドノートラス。グリーク地方で漁師をやっている。出稼ぎ先から故郷へ帰るためにロンバルディア号に乗ったのよ。よろしく頼むぜ。えっと。What a fancy Lottie Da name that is. それにしても流れ着いた先がよりにもよって精錬党とはな。しているのですか？おお、グリーク出身ならガキの頃一度は公式かられたことがあるはずだ。悪さをするやつは精錬党へ島流しにするぞってな。what a nice couple. She's trying to know my kid. No, no, that's, that's abusive. <laughs> so, so that thing definitely is not dead. Yeah. <laughs> ユーメイな話だが、精錬島に近づこうとする船は全て沈んじまう。ここが実際どんな場所かなんてこれまで誰もわからなかったはずだ。たまに上陸したなんていう奴もいたが、どう考えても迷うつばもんだったぜ。ど
She's worried about somebody. I never really figured out who that was, but she seems overly concerned for no apparent reason. <laughs> like on how the hell do you even do that on accident? Oh, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh man. She's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> We gotta do it again? No, we don't have to do it again. He's just pissed. He's like, whatever you. I ain't got a time to waste on you guys. Hungry. Gotta feed my kids. Don't let me catch you on the other side of the island, though. Take that blue shit off your face. You in blood territory. <laughs> Red dinos all day. That's the uh, that's the feeling that you feel after you've evacuated your bowels all at once. See, now he's hungry. Shit his pants and he needs to refill himself. We ain't got no food though, bro. Oh, he's a fisherman. Maybe he can go fish in the ocean. There we go. Maybe he can get us something to eat. I'm sure none of these guys is actually able to cook. Well, actually, I think Adol can cook. Loxia doesn't look like she can cook. Damn. Loxia is now the tank of the party. Let's go chasing after that some bitch. Sure, let's go check it out real quick. Because we're going to end this episode soon. Let's see what we can find over here. Spin it to win it, baby. Bone necklace. What does that do? And another wall that we cannot climb up yet. All right, we've conquered the, the dinosaur, whatever the hell that thing was. And I'm going to end the episode here because I know coming after this, I remember there is a very long segment of exposition that we will open up the next episode with. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And make sure you check us out on twitch.tv slash gamegoons. Make sure you leave a like and a comment and a sub below if you haven't already done so. Make sure you check us out on teespring.com slash store slash game dash goons for that sweet new goons above the above the clouds apparel and everything else that we offer on the goon line i want to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next episode if you guys enjoy it if you don't like it whatever keep watching man i'm gonna it's only gonna get better i promise peace out